Hey folks, Boogs here, back with another Armour Brief video. Sorry I couldn't make the last one, I was out on holiday, and unfortunately you had to listen to Luke's voice in the meantime. So today we'll be talking about another new addition to the game, which is the BMD-4M Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This IFV was included in the V5 update, which also brought us the Russian Airborne Forces, the People's Liberation Army, Navy Marine Corps, and a few of the vehicles one of which we covered in the last video. Before we get started, and as usual, I just wanted to thank people for the views, likes and engagement with our last video. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into it. The BMD-4M is a vehicle that is used by the Russian Airborne Faction, or just VDV for short. This vehicle is similar in ways to the BMP-3, in that it is a fast and mobile infantry support vehicle designed to deliver infantry to the battlefield and then either withdraw and fire from a distance or stay and suppress enemy positions. The first thing to note is that with many other vehicles in the game, it requires the use of a crewman kit to operate the driver and gunner positions. The vehicle boasts quite an impressive top speed of 80 km an hour. This makes it one of, if not, the fastest track vehicles in the game. Note though, this top speed is only on roads, and realistically you will experience a speed up to 70 km an hour off-road, although this is still insane. Furthermore, this vehicle is amphibious, but only reaches around 7 km an hour when swimming. The reverse speed is nothing to brag about, at only 15 km an hour, though for a Russian vehicle this is not terrible, as something like the T-72B3 only backs up at 5 km an hour. However, this is still significantly slower than most other vehicles, where the reverse speeds can be closer to 30. Handling-wise, this vehicle drives like a beast and provides a very driver-friendly experience overall. As a driver myself, this is music to my ears. Next time you take this for a spin, let me know what you think. Literally, go try turning on the spot. Right, now let's have a peek at the gunner seat. Interestingly, we see the use of a main gun and a secondary gun, both firing from a very similar position. The primary armament though is a lower calibre than something like the Sprut, sitting at 100mm, though this is still a big bang stick for a very small IFV. This gun utilises two ammo types in game. The primary shell is a 100mm high explosive fragmentation round. This is a great upgrade when compared to the other guns of other IFVs and is certainly going to send those pesky ATs ragdolling. The other round this gun fires is actually an anti-tank guided missile. This ATGM performs similar to other vehicle mounted ATGMs, but it deals slightly less damage and has slightly less penetration. With this in mind, you should avoid facing tanks head on. Side shots though that aren't ammo racks would still require all three of these ATGMs you have. Though this munition will have no issue dealing with other IFVs and APCs, which will suffer heavily when you hit them. The secondary weapon that the BMD uses is similar to the one mounted on the BMP-2. It fires both AP and HE. Each of these have 100 rounds of ammunition to go through. This is a good balance, in my opinion, of ammunition, especially since you may be using the main gun for infantry, so you will save on high explosive on your secondary gun. The coaxial that the BMD-4 uses is the typical 7.62mm PKT machine gun that is very common for every Russian vehicle in the game. Though this one is able to carry 3,000 rounds of ammunition, this is 1,000 more than the Sprut. This gun also doesn't have to be reloaded. If you have not got a crewman kit and are tagging along for a ride, or you are the dedicated spotter or commander for your armor squad, then you will spend most of your time looking through the commander's optics. Unfortunately, the commander doesn't have access to an RWS gun but they are still blessed with a fully stabilised, full 360 degree rotating periscope. This gives the BMD-4 great situational awareness, especially in close quarters. Now let's backtrack somewhat and talk more about some features of the vehicle that are relevant to all positions. The 100mm main gun has a reload speed of 5 seconds for both HE and the ATGM. This is very fast, so you can sling frags downrange at a crazy rate. Also, if you have the element of surprise, this allows you to throw ATGMs at unsuspecting Bradleys faster than they can spot you. Furthermore, the 30mm secondary weapon has a rate of fire of 325 rounds per minute, this comparable to the BMP-2 or the CTAS. 
These weapons are housed in a turret that can complete a full 360 degree rotation in just 7 seconds. Now this isn't remarkable, but it's just above average for its class. The gunner also uses these guns looking through a sight that is the same as the Chinese ZBD-04. So if you want to see what this is like, then go take a look at our video on the ZBD. The vertical gun guidance on the main gun has an impressive range starting at plus 60 degrees and ending at negative 6 degrees. The max elevation is great for shooting at helicopters or targets on a hill, but the depression is a letdown and can very much hinder you when cresting slopes or firing close up. The BMD-4M has a health pool of just 1250 HP. Now this is standard for Red 4 IFVs, but lacking when compared to Bradley's for example. This shouldn't be a huge issue when facing other, other IFVs, but is something to note when there's a chance of being hit by 80s as you will very quickly find yourself a flaming rep. Another thing to note is that the turret is a major weak spot on this vehicle. It has very low health, so it's very easy to disable. This puts you at a huge disadvantage when fighting vehicles up close, as you will then have to decide whether to maneuver and leave, or stay and fight. Some other info about this vehicle is that it can carry 600 ammo supplies, which is pretty standard for IFVs, and it can carry a total of 8 people. Two of these will require a crewman kit to operate the vehicle. The BMD-4 has its ammo rack and engine located in the same place as the Sprut, but the ammo rack is slightly smaller. This again is located in the centre of the vehicle, and its engine is in the rear. Due to this fact, you should be able to reverse out of trouble in case of getting shot in the front plate, which increases the vehicle's survivability. Okay, with that in mind, now let's summarise and I'll give my thoughts. The BMD-4M presents itself as a very capable IFV with great manoeuvrability and a good selection of weapons and ammo. Plus, it is amphibious and has good optics and turret performance. Also, the fact that its engine is in the rear makes it more survivable in head-on engagements compared to something like the BMP-2 or the BTR-82. This gives rise to its main weak spot, its turret. Though this turret is quite small, and so it's quite hard to hit at a distance. This allows you to get the fast reloading and high speed ATGMs on target quickly and efficiently while being exposed to very little risk. Close in engagements though can be rewarding, as the frag rounds can severely impede enemy troop movements. However, the vehicle's low health then means anti-tanks have an easy time countering you. As such, while this vehicle can be used to drop off infantry, you should aim to fire and engage the enemy at distances above 500 meters, which is where its strengths lie. On paper, we see this vehicle as probably the best vehicle in game, though your user experience may vary. And with that, we're done. Thank you all for watching. As always, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, comment with your opinions and your experiences, and if you want to be kept up to date with when we're playing or uploading, consider subscribing or join our Discord. Thanks a lot. Boogs out.